shoot. Oh! I mean, it's 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 there blown. Are parts left. What if I just drop the punch right here, like this? What is going on guys? I want to make a video for you. It's just an update, but I have a lot of questions. A lot of people constantly ask me what in the world happened to my Civic builds. Where are they? Which ones do I even own now? What happened to them? Did I abandon them? This and that. So I'm gonna answer all those questions as best as I can for you today. The one thing I will say preemptively is I did use drag racing as an avenue to get back into the driver's seat because a lot of you guys know I had a very, very unusually serious panic disorder that I was dealing with for years. And my, my segue to get back into trying to drive in any capacity was drag racing because it was very quick and it wasn't you know, a lot of time in the driver's seat. So it was less time for me to have a panic attack. So I used civics for that for a while and I uh, spent a lot, you know, a lot of time, money and effort and, and I did that. And all of, you, all of you guys also know that back in the day, I, I attribute a lot of the success of the channel to civics because I was one of the first people, at least to document and make videos online about doing eBay turbo builds uh, as cheap as possible, you make power for cheap. And, and um, that really sh that hit it off for me really well back in the day. And then I had a few other builds and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to go over all of the civics in particular that I have. So. And a big reason why you don't see much on the channel anymore is because I have put them on the back burner. You can obviously see uh, my V6 single turbo Civic right behind us. I drive that occasionally. It was actually broken for a little bit, but I put the Civics kind of on the back burner over the past year because this past year I've really, really, because I, I, I love Civics because they got me back into the driver's seat. But <clears throat> a lot of you guys know that I'm going to be competing in attempts to get my pro, my FD pro license this year in drifting. Uh, building the 370Z right now, and uh, also I've got a bunch of other grassroots cars, uh, grassroots builds. I'd I be drifting all the time, because that's the to, in my opinion, this is the best way to spend time in a driver's seat, is drifting. It's fun. But I still love me some fast Civics. Now, I currently own three Civics. Put that out there. I have three Civics that I currently own. I have the one that's behind me. This is my, my EG hatchback. Caged 28 inch slicks, V6 turbo, V6 single turbo. To be honest, this is really the only Civic right now that I have put any time and effort into because it uh, it runs consistently and it's very fun. The setup that it has is fairly reliable. It makes 550 on wastegate, on no boost at all, very low boost. It's really fun. I take it out every now and then and I drive it. And a lot of you guys know I love this power plant so much, I just announced that I'm gonna be J-swapping my 240SX. I'm putting a J-series. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this motor. So I have a J35 and I have this J32. I don't know if I'm gonna put the J35 or the 32 in the 240. I think I would rather put the 35 in this car, paint the engine bay, make it all super nice, and then actually make this car faster because those axles are like 1500 horsepower or something. Be kind of cool. This is the only Civic that I currently have at my shop in my possession that um that i drive regularly so the other two that i own are the exo civic the exo civic and what i was building the all-wheel drive civic i do still own the all-wheel drive civic and there's an explanation for both of them the exo civic is my old twin turbo honda civic we took that the twin turbo didn't work out you guys can go back and and, and look at that it could have but in hindsight we just kind of gave up twin turbo didn't work out so it sat for a long time, sat for about a year at the shop or more. And then I took it back, wanted to do something with it. I 
started building the D series. That was me seg getting the segue to get back in the driver's seat because I was getting the feeling of driving again, trying to make sure I wasn't getting constant panic attacks in the driver's seat. And uh, started building the D series, built axles, all that kind of stuff, and it was really fun. Then I tore it apart, and then we made an exo shell caged car out of it. Spent a ton of time and money to to build it that way. And I want to say I really want to um, to make clear that this is I'm, anything I'm saying. This is all just me being very transparent. This is not a slight to my tuner or anything at all. But I I for for my sake I gotta tell the truth here. So we build the exo car and we finally get it ready to tune. And it's, it was actually a little over a year ago, because I, I was before I went to Australia, which was, I was in Australia a year ago. That's nuts. A little over a year ago, we put the car on the dyno to try and make some power. And I think while I was in Australia, this actually had happened. No, no, it was right before. We had put it on the dyno to make some power, and it was making almost 500 horsepower at the time, the d little single jingle D-series, D and then it lifted the head. Uh, so we started losing tons of coolant. It was smoking and stuff like that. And so we got new head studs, um, new head gasket. I can't remember what all we did, but you know, Trackstar had, had taken care of it. He had a guy working for him at the time that was taking care of builds who doesn't work there anymore, which is kind of, kind of a, a toss up reason why some of this stuff's not getting done. But, uh, we figured while the head was off, let's concrete the block, make it the most bulletproof D-series you can possibly make without sleeving it or having a billet block. Because honestly, who wants a billet D-series? That's kind of insane. That took a long time. It did take longer than it should have. And then I'm gonna be honest, <clears throat> the car's been sitting at the shop for a year. It's been outside getting sun bleached, rained on, destroyed by the elements. It's very sad. It's kind of frustrating. Reason for that is we, I think once the car was finally put back together, uh, his wording was, it's too hot to tune the car now because, you know, the, the block's concreted. There's no, obviously there's no coolant going through and cooling the cylinder walls and that sort of thing now. And so I, I got that. There's a few cool days every now and then and I bugged him about it for three or four months, I think. Then I finally just gave up on it. I, I feel like he was burned by this car too many times and I get that. He might not, he just might not have wanted to touch it. That may or may not be true. That's my speculation, but this didn't happen. And then obviously once the colder days came around, because it's been over a year, there's been cold days, Hard it hasn't been touched, hasn't been tuned. It's literally been sitting outside of a shop for a year and uh, I'm scared to even look at it now because it's just like sun bleach. It's kind of sad. So I don't know, I, and it may not be sun bleach, but it's been sitting outside for years and you guys know what happens to cars, especially with no body panels and stuff. And brand new Corbo seats, all those lines for fueling and the brand new external fuel pump. All the aluminum, well, the aluminum don't, I don't know. So it's sitting outside. That car hasn't been touched in a year, I don't think, at least to my knowledge, and I don't think it will be touched anytime soon. Now, I will say, as a caveat, it's okay for me because I have so many other things to do. I have not been particularly interested in doing drag racing because I have had so much, I mean, my hands have been busy. Like I've been at a, at a drift event or doing something you know, drift related or building a car every single weekend, every single weekend for the past year. So it's like, I've been busy. Would I like to do it again? Absolutely. It makes fantastic content. It's really fun to watch and it's easy to make. And you know, your car's overbuilt enough. It's not expensive to do. Um, it's, honestly, drag racing is probably the least expensive motorsport out there. And I'll argue with you on that because I've done all of them. And uh, even when you break stuff in drag racing, it's still cheaper than drifting. Cheaper than drifting, and it's cheaper than competitive HPD. If you've competitively drifted, wheel-to-wheel -wheel raced, and drag raced, I'll listen to you. But uh, unless you're building a top fuel car, it's probably way cheaper. I mean, my 370Z is literally a drag car, but it goes sideways. I think I have a, over 100K in that car. So that leads me to my next point. I also just have allocated my budgets differently because I've wanted to spend my time differently because I wanted to spend my money differently, the Civics haven't necessarily you know, appealed to me. W with that being said, same story with my all-wheel drive Civics. We're gonna move on from the Exo car. It hasn't been touched in a long time and it's, it is what it is. Like I'd pr probably prefer to bring it back home and not let it sit outside. I don't really know the story on it, when it's ever gonna run, how, if it's ever gonna run, what I'm gonna do with it. I, I would sell the car if anybody's out there, if anybody out there is interested, I got like 15, 20 grand in the car. So it's like, if you guys want a good deal on it, I'll sell it to you for cheap. The all-wheel drive Civic. Uh, it's so I dropped the all-wheel drive Civic off at Jose's. 
Um, Jose, Jose Delier, the guy who does all my body work, did all the body work on my BMW, painted my R33, painted my, I don't wanna talk about the car, the car that he painted uh, because it's currently at another shop that is not touching the car. My Evo, different shop, been sitting outside for almost a year now. Pretty cool, yeah? That's a whole other story for a different day. But the all-wheel drive Civic, that was one of the last builds that I did that I saw me leading people on and not completing. I hated doing that. And it was a learning experience for me because I spent a ton of time, money, effort in getting the car uh, almost ready, if you will. And there's a lot of little things here and there that I'll explain. I, I did a bad job for a couple years of half building cars and like not completing them. And that was the last car I did that with. Not gonna do that anymore because it upsets me and I saw like, upset in the fan base in you guys. And I just didn't like that. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. But uh, I'd like to finish that car eventually. But the, the main point is I ran out of, I didn't run out of money, but I ran out of budget for that. It was costing too much money. This is how I thought about it at the time. For the views I was getting, it wasn't worth continuing building it because it was really expensive. The other reason why that, that build kind of paused is because my S2000, which I, I sold, that's a long story too, and I will spare you all the details on that, but that, that S2000, because the built K series that I had in the car blew up lap two, of a warm up on the track day a couple years ago. I had to use the K series that was in the all wheel drive Civic to make the S2000 run again because I wanted to paint, you know, the all wheel drive car anyways. So I was like, you know what? I'll take the engine out, take out all the stuff. I still have all the stuff literally right here. I have two sleeve K series right there, fully built head right there. Uh, I, just, I just need rods and pistons and I, I could have a fully built sleeve K series, twin disc, all that kind of stuff. I took all that out because I was like, you know what? Let's make the car nice. Let's paint the car. And then once the car's painted, I'll bring it back on the channel and we'll finish it. Now, the thing is, I just, I have figured out a lot about myself. I've had to, unfortunately, I feel like I say at y'all's expense, but like the viewer's expense, I've had to explore a lot of different avenues and figure myself out over the past couple of years. The civic stuff is one of the, is one of the things that I've had to test and really ask myself if this is really what I wanna be doing. And unfortunately, I have gone really deep into some civic stuff and then just not been rewarded and not even driven, been able to drive the cars. And I have learned that like, I also just love drifting in the interim. With that said, the all drive civic is still at Jose's. He's letting me keep it there for the record. It's not like his fault that it's taking long or anything. Like I let him have the car and he's like, just keep it here till you're ready. So it's at Jose's. Still has all the all-wheel drive components in it, and I'd still like to make it a really clean all-wheel drive car eventually, but I just don't think that that's in the cards at the moment because, like I said, one, I'm building my six-figure uh, price tag 370Z to attempt to get a pro license. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to compete in Formula Drift or anything because I think there's just a lot of politics there and I don't really need to get involved in that, but I just love drifting, and it'd be cool to prove to myself that I can get the pro license and then just go from there and have fun with the sport. I'm finally back doing the, the right things with my IS300. So the other IS300 I had blew up because I didn't build it right the first time. Well, I'm gonna build it right this time. I'm gonna do a fully built NAT build on my IS300 Sport Cross, and that's gonna be fun. A good turbo this time, not a CX Racing. No, I'm not, no slight to CX Racing, but I think everybody knows that they're not the best turbos in the world. I'd probably just give you like a Garrett or something. So make the car good, a Borg or a Garrett. Uh, make the car good, I'm fully autism cleaning it. It has been crazy how much I've put into this car. Uh, now I'm waiting for paint. I'm making my own custom Shanks paint color. It's gonna be actually named Shanks color. I'm currently reviving the 240 because I do want to go back to my Civic roots, but I also want to incorporate it into what I'm actually doing now. And so a J series in a S13 is awesome. Uh, so I actually didn't even know that the Boosted Boys, Kyle, had done uh, one in his S14. So I've been kind of talking to him about how, how to go about that. The 14 are a little bit different in terms of like front suspension geometry. So I'm, I'm hoping that, especially because this is a drift car and I have a rack relocation already, I think I might not run into the same issues that he did when building it, but uh, I'm pretty excited. I think that it'll be really fun. And I love the, rude. I love the power plant. It's so much fun. I took this car for a drive the other day and I immediately said to myself after driving it, why do I not have this in a drift car? So the plan with this car is to clean it up and probably stroke it. Wait, pause.
<laughs> make a stroked version of this, which is just a J35, so it's not really stroked, it's just a bigger motor. Bigger motor and probably switch the turbo out because this turbo is really old and it's not as efficient as like newer turbos. Which speaking of, I need a turbo sponsor. So if anybody out there has a connection with a good turbo sponsor, I need some help. I'd be spending too much money on everything. Help. I do want to say again, I know that I, I know that the truth sometimes hurts, but I, I want to say that this is again at nobody's expense. This is not a slight to anybody. You know, I still love Ethan from the bottom of my heart. And I think that like him and I had some, had some, um, I kind of put him through a bad situation a few times because like I would underbuild a car and then kind of, you know, in his eyes and make him look bad. And like, you know, I just, it was an interesting time. So I'm still planning on using him for a lot of stuff. And he's, he's fantastic, but I think that um, I kind of earned the burnout and the car is just sitting there. So that car, XO car has just been sitting. It may or may not come back. I just want to clear the air on that. And then the all-wheel drive Civic, it has been, again, it's a Jose's for a long time. And I would love to finish that car someday, but it's just not the cards at the moment because all of my budget is going 100% to what I'm currently enjoying, what I'm currently loving. And I have learned that if I'm not loving what I'm doing, not even that, if I don't love using the car after building it, then what's the point? What is the point? I don't love drag racing. To an extent, I think it's really boring. Now, put me in a faster car, I'm sure I'd probably love racing a 1500 horsepower car uh, versus a 400 horsepower Civic, but I'd probably also rather drift a 1500 horsepower car. So it's cool. Because drifting, it's what's really cool, if you guys don't know, if you're into drag racing and you're not, you think drifting is kind of overrated or you don't get it, drifting is literally drag racing sideways. The way you build these cars is like building a drag car, but you, the suspension geometry is different or very similar, believe it or not, but you're drag racing sideways. It's really cool. So my Z has a NASCAR transmission and a bulldog rear end, which is technically used for, you know, quick change stuff is used for a lot of things, but a lot of applications, but mostly for launching because uh, they're sturdy but you use a lot of drag racing parts in, in drift cars because you're drag racing sideways. So it's really cool. And once you start building a drift car, like a real drift car, you get to understand that. You're like, oh, this is pretty sick. So I love drifting. Don't know if I've said that yet. I think I've said it 400, 500 times. I love drifting. I hate BMWs. Don't buy a BMW. Bad idea. That car is currently going through something that me and my the guy that's helping me tune the car can't even figure out. So it's <laughs> really sick, dude. Anyhow, I wanted to make a, this is the most condensed version I could make for you guys. This is, I'm looking at the thing right now, 20 minutes or so. It's about as condensed as I could make it for you, but I wanted to explain every detail of every car. My advice, I think I'm just gonna use the advice that I kind of gave you in the video. I still give daily advice every single day. It's a really old adage, but do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It's true, but you don't understand that until you figure out like, you know, for me, I'm almost 30 years old and I just like, at 29, I finally figured out what I wanted to do. So take your time, it might take a while, but I will tell you, once you figure out what you like to do and you actually have something that you're rooted in, life gets so much better. Uh, it might not get easier, money might not come, might not be there all the time, but it makes the journey a lot more interesting. So figure out what you're rooted in and just have fun because that's so important. It's good to make money. I can't get enough money. I can make money all day long, I love it. But it's also great to just follow your passion to an extent, don't be silly. But yeah, I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. If you guys want any way to uh, support us, 53supply.com, we've got some merch for you guys. We're not doing giveaways anymore, so we have some leftover merchandise. So if you guys do me a favor, go click on the link that I've got for you in the description. Go browse around, see if you like any of the designs. If you don't, that's totally fine. If you feel the need to support us, that's amazing. We love you for that. Also make sure if that subscribe button is red still, click that subscribe button and do me a favor, click like on the video, like the video. And I will see you guys next video, I suppose. I think that's about it. Stay tuned for the S13 J swap. It's probably beginning as, as you're seeing this, I'm probably halfway through it because I already have most of the parts. <laughs> Love you all. And I will see you guys next video. Peace.